All right, good morning, everybody. Um, good morning, online friends. Thank you for coming. Um, are we YouTube live too? So we should have friends on YouTube live, Instagram live, Facebook live, and Zoom. Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming. These are all uh, our, the virtual offerings we have to do as we kind of roll into this funky little time of our uh, stay at home or social distancing. So thank you guys for joining us virtually and. Uh, these are all donation-based classes. I appreciate you just being here in any way at all. So, uh, and then we have a handful of folks, 10 or less, always at 10 feet apart, socially distanced, and we're outside and getting sun on our face and, and uh, doing what I think far benefits staying inside and panicking. So I, uh, I'm happy you're here and I'm, I'm honored that you shared your morning with me, so thanks. Um, here we go, welcome new friends. There's a couple of new friends back there and, we're best friends now, they just don't realize it. <laughs> like this. Uh, you have to do a couple things. First and foremost, you have to just, after a little while, or once you get into this practice, whatever depth yoga practice you have, it doesn't matter. Um, you have to just tune out so you can tune in a little bit. You just have to close your eyes and open your ears, and, and that's my segue to introduce my, uh, the auditory, deli or auditory delights uh, known as the Eagle Scouts. That's a brand new. <laughs> These are Christine and Fleck of the Bohemian Song Society. They're going to make wonderful stories for you today. And uh, just open your heart. Just relax and enjoy yourself. So I have a humble host who has invited us to our property to have in this most aesthetic of places a morning to just get sun in your face and sun in your heart and light and your smile and, you know, a glimmer in your eyeballs, you know. So be cool and distance yourself from the shit that doesn't serve you. Be nice to yourself, have fun, and do what serves you. And if it doesn't serve you, do not do it. If I put you in a position that's challenging, good. If you're uncomfortable in that position, good. You're gonna be uncomfortable a lot, good. But if you're in pain, never. Not even for one breath, no pain, man. It's not into it, you know? It's just, it doesn't benefit you, and there's no little hidden gems there. But in the discomfort sometimes is uh, where all the little gems are hidden, you know? And uh, we just are gonna take little steps, little graceful steps, sometimes a leap here and there, just a little bit closer to knowing who you are. And, and yoga is no more than a journey of self-realization, man. You don't know it now, but, and, you may be, and some of you do, I shouldn't say that, but usually people come for other reasons and they stay for completely opposite. So have fun, be cool, learning yourself, and then uh, we'll all get to know each other a little better. We're only here to walk each other home, babies, in the words of our Dr. Richard Albert. Silly Caucasian name. We know him as Ram Das. Uh, my name is Pickles. Thank you very much for being here. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Let's wiggle, babies. Breathe in through your nose. Activate the base of your spine. Elongate spine. Send the crown of the head high. Relax. Exhale long and slow. Oh, yeah. It's getting breathing. Inhale. Fill your ribs with prana. Spread your chest wide. Fill yourself with life force. And exhale so long and slow. Let your shoulders peel away from your ears. Let the ripples on your conscious lake settle. Breathe in through your nose. Lengthen. Exhale. Let the periphery of the body just pull away from the center line. And you start to transition from your busy day, from your morning, to your mat. And that mat, silly gooses, might just seem like a chunk of rubber, cloth, whatever it is, is so much more. Trust that thing, man. Turn your back to it. Trust, fall into it, it'll be there. As soon as you jump, it'll be there. And lay into it and just relax. And start to distance yourself from the environmental pressures of the day. Start to stop responding to your phone or your TV or your computer. And start to tune in to the voice inside, the little voices inside. To tell you what you really need without an environmental response. Listen to what's going on inside. Try to get closer and turn more within. It's hard now. So you take long, slow breaths. You drop your blood pressure. You start to just relax. The edges of your body become smooth so the bags of shit that don't serve you anymore fall to the side. You become light. Lighter. Breathe in. 
and just start to brush the throat with the breath. Hit those tonsils with your breath and make ocean sounds, man. If you sound like gentle ocean waves, you're doing it perfect. If you can't hear yourself, you ain't here yet. So breathe in, breathe out so you can hear it. Ujjayi Pranayama. It also has a byproduct, a bonus, a supplement. It creates heat in the body. That's nice for this morning. So we'll stoke the furnace from within. We'll make sounds. We'll get here. And throughout this practice, babies, I'll ask you more than once. Ask yourself what time it is and answer yourself but loud if you want. The time is right now. Ask yourself, where the heck are you at? Answer yourself, right here. Right here, right now, ready to roll. Let's have fun. Inhale the shoulders to the ears, roll them up, back and down. Fingers find the floor. Lift the pelvic floor and engage your navel. Pull it inward and upward. Shoulders are back and down, the ribs are spread, the chest is up, crown of the head is high and the chin is slightly tough. Turn the palms over and grab a bunch of that air. Reach up, reach up, reach up, gaze up, exhale, push away side walls. Stop at three and nine. Flex your wrists. Slowly make some arm circles towards the front. Warming up the shoulders. Keep spreading the ribs wide. Stop, come through center, point the palms towards the front of the room. Slowly bring the left arm across the front, bend it into the crux of the right elbow, pull it across and then gaze to the left. Feeling a stretch across the back of the deltoid. Untether the arms, sweep them above. Interlace the fingers, point them towards, the, or the palms towards the sky. Slowly bring the chin to the chest. Open up onto your ribs. Spread your ribs wide. Chin to the chest. Reach back with those hands. Exhale, push away side walls. Stop at three and nine. First things first, open up the scapula. Push to the right, push to the left. Good. Engage your mula bandha. Lift the uniyana bandha. Send the palms towards the front of the room. Good, good, good. Now, take that right arm across to the crux to the left. Bend it and look now to the right. Stretch it across the back of that right deltoid. Untether the posture. Sweep the arms about. Exhale, push away side wall. Stop. Turn the fingers down so the backs of the forearms are stretching. And take some shoulder circles in the opposite direction. Good. Nice. Palms up. Inhale. Interlace. Bend. Elbows back. Squeeze the scapula together, the chicken bones together. Lift the back ribs. Lift your front ribs. Look up. Lift, keep looking up. Keep sending the elbows back, look up. Wrap those biceps to the ears, round the upper back and fold. Release the hands, the fingers will face the floor, the palms will face away. They coldly come back towards the knees. Pick your ass up, place the palms so that they push down solidly into your mat, and then bring your bum back, leaving the sole of the hand down. Stretch it across the bottom of your forearm. Now start to make some circles. Good. Stretch the bottom of them forearms. Good. Inhale up, turn the hands over, palms face the knees. You pull the heart through, hinge forward, and take some hip circles now to the left. Ground down through your sitz bones, just wake the body up. Really strong and solid down low. Really soft above. Strong behind your navel. Steady in the conscious column. And your upper body blooms. Now relax the head, neck, shoulders, and face. Ear to the shoulder, chin across the chest, ear to the shoulder. Breathe. Get big, close your eyes, get dizzy, for God's sake. Inhale through center. Lift the shoulders to the ears, back and down. Lift your heart. Fingers find the floor, you inhale up. Reach, 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 but stay rooted. And on the exhalation, twist to the left. Bring the right hand outside the left knee. And start to stretch behind your belly button. Good. 
Allow the ribs to take the shoulder and the shoulder to take the chin, the chin to take the eye. Slowly come on back through center, grab those knees. Uncross your legs, bring the opposite ankle in forward. Or first, readjust, remove any flash from your sit bones, grab those knees. Pull the heart through, hinge forward with a flat back, and then take them hip circles now to the right. Alrighty, ground down through your sit bones, be big. Stay strong and huge on top, but solid and grounded below. Close your eyes, relax your head, neck, shoulders, and face. Let it roll around the back of the neck, just breaking some of the rust, some of the chains, some of the fascia and connective tissue that keep us all packed together tight. So bloom like a lotus above, stay rooted like the ground grows. Come on through center. Inhale the shoulders to the ear. Fingers touch your mat, you inhale them above. Reach, reach, reach. And then this time on the exhalation, twist now to the right. Left hand coming outside the right knee, lift the heart. Exhale, ring it out. Soften the skin on the face. Length between each vertebral facet. Lengthen your spine before you twist deeper. On the exhalation, you keep getting deeper and deeper. Good. Untether the posture. Come on back forward. Take those shoulders to the ears. Hold them up. Contract the traps. Roll them back and down. Fingers again. Just drizzle. Lift those hands and reach out. Grab as much of that air as you can. As soon as they come together, slowly bring them down through center line. Slow by your third eye. Mindful not to judge yourself or others. Slower by your lips, remember to say kind and truthful words. Send those thumbs into your chest, bow your head, breathe peace and set an attention for your practice. This is crucial. And by the way, can you hear yourself breathing? If you can't, check back in. Alrighty, silly gooses, let's do it. Clear any props if you got them. Come on up and over the knees, keep your toes cooked. Good, crisscross them. Now, wrist, elbow, and shoulder in line. Good, send your knees out wider. Yes, yes, yes. Now drop your cosmic garden. For my new friends, your cosmic garden is our, don't have a Sanskrit word for it. But soften everything down low. Soften your belly, sink into your hips. Rotate the shoulders back and down, lift your heart and gaze up. Now release the posture, undo the pause, and come on down. Now you gotta bring your knees up closer to my voice. Your knees have to be 90 degrees in the hip, 90 degrees in the knee, 90 degrees in the ankle, and turn your inner ankle down. Your knees have to come closer to my voice. Bring them up. I know you had a hard night, but so did I. You know I'm talking to her. I'm kidding. Me? No, no, no. This <laughs> one? <laughs> relax, good. Turn the inner ankle down, relax. This is called frog. Jess Bonacci loves it. It's her favorite. In every one of her Instagram posts, it's hashtag frog pickle. Uh, now soften your belly, soften your cosmic garden. Let's stay here about 90 minutes, it'll be fine. It's gonna go by like that. <laughs> Hands under the shoulders, rotate them back and down. Squeeze your ribs, lift just your heart, but keep your belly soft. Oh, do you love it now, Haley? Pull your heart through, see I love you, pick up. Lift your heart, look up, get sun in your face. Bring your toes together, lift your knees and go, oh my. All right, here we go, table it up, baby. Wrist, elbow, and shoulder in line. Knees are hip distance apart. Okay. Pick the sole of the hand up. Place it down slow. Good. Now, table it up. This is what I need you to do. I need you to take micro bends in the elbows. Engage in the musculature of the arms, not just stacking bones. Good. Eyes of the elbow slightly forward. Good. Here we go. Tuck them toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, cat flexion of the spine. Tuck your toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through the cup. Cat flexion, Marjasana, Vitalasana, cat and cat. Tuck them toes, silly goose, pull your heart through, smile. Exhale, round the back, cat. Come to a neutral spine. Slowly take your ass off to the left side of your mat. Good. Come on through center. Bring your ass to the right and your gaze to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Sink into that outer hip. 
Inhale through center, ass off to the left. to the right, gaze left, keep your knees down, good, now start to bring it back and make giant circles with your bum, come all the way forward, bring it all the way to the left, come all the way out, carry it all the way back to your heels, good, now soften the upper body and move like a cat, silly goose, relax your head and neck and dance, oh, Krishna Dust on the harmonium, Earl Scruggs on the five strip. Ooh, move your body now. Yeah, come through center. Wiggle your ass, Caucasian women. Move the other way now. Good. Relax your head and neck. Wiggle and squiggle. Yeah. Move now, move now. Oh, yeah, keep going. Breaking the sheaths of bullshit off your hips. Come on through center. Tuck them toes, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, kitty. Neutral spine, the right knee comes in, inhale, left leg. Exhale, round the back, give me the chest. Inhale it back. Kick in that right foot open to the left, Ardha Shandrasana. Good. Reach up, great space. Find the posture if you want. Bend the knee, grab the foot, lift your heart. Look out over that left shoulder, smile. Oh yeah. Release the foot, don't slingshot. Reach up with the left hand. Take your gaze over to your right thumb and gracefully place that foot down. Extending the legs, squaring the hips and shoulders. Graceful, inhale halfway, empty your belly and raise. Up, bend the knee till it's in line with the ankle. And inhale the arms on Janiyasana. Oh, dance, baby. Extend the leg and fold. Passive flexion in the toes. Inhale up, bend the knee till it's in line. Monkey pose. Lift your heart, look up. Split second, close your eyes, open your heart. Exhale, frame forward and rain. Extend the left leg. Flexion. Last time, inhale up. Drop that left hand around, reach all the way over to your right hip. Spread the fingers wide, lift your heart. Exhale, bring the right hand to the inner edge of that left foot. Come on to the knife edge of this foot. Slowly bring your left shoulder down. Keep coming down. Oh shit, that's lizard with a broken arm. Oh, this is a hangover cure for sure. Inhale up and open the left shoulder, look out. Bend the right knee. The foot will practically fall in your hand, ass. It'll fall in your hand. Bring your heel to your ass cheeks and give it a bump. Oh, that's nice. Honest yoga, baby. Good. Release the foot. Don't slingshot. Frame that foot. Touch the toes. Find your high line. Look to the front of your mat. And when you're ready, inhale the right leg high. Exhale, round the back. Knee to chest. Good. Leave your left hand to the mat and open to the right. Marta Chandrasana. I'm going to turn this way so you can see. Good. Now, take your right arm and reach it towards me. Now, bring the elbow and knee together. Squeeze. Oh, that's nice. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. And grab your big toe and extend it out to the right. Inhale, up. Go fall, silly goose. Everybody up. Everybody tapped out except Lily. Relax the butt. Inhale, the arms. Exhale, hinge in the ball. Exhale, back. Inhale, rise. Thumbs together, palms together, knees to stay rigid. Hands to heart center, samaskini. Surya Namaskar, inhale, half. Into your waist, to leave with your heart, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, drop the right foot back. Knee comes down, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, left foot to beat to right, down dog. Inhale through plank. 
Touch your knees, chest, chin, asses up. Inhale up dog. Exhale, Adhimukhasvanasana. right there. And you look out over that right shoulder. And you bring your heel into your ass nice and slow. And you'll feel it in the left quad for sure. That's the face. That was honest yoga. Well done. Good. Release the foot. Tuck the toes. Frame. Find your high lunge. Look to the front of your mat. When you're ready, inhale. Left leg high. Exhale around the back. Need a jump. Inhale it up. Keep your right hand down as you open to the left. Artist, cross it up. Should have done it on the other side. Where you are. Breathe. Good. Slowly take the left arm towards the front of the rim. Yes. Reach. Exhale. Bring the elbow to the knee and squeeze. Inhale. Extend. Yes. Exhale. Squeeze. As you look me in the eyes. Inhale. Reach. <laughs> Come on in. This time, grab the big toe and extend it out to the left. Stabilize and inhale. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I failed on it too. Go. I can't break your chops when I fall out of it. Good job. It's windy. Go. 
Good job. Release. Inhale the arms. Exhale. Hinge and fold. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Back. Inhale. Rise. Next to heart center. So much easier. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Hinge and fold. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale, send the left foot back, bring the knee down, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, right foot back to beat your left hand off. Inhale, come through plank, strong. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, ass is high. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, place between the hands, high lunge. Drop the right knee. Pull the heart through, look up. Exhale, bring your right to meet your left and fold. Inhale, halfway. Lift your heels. Lift your heels high. Exhale, sit into your knee or heel lifted. Ukatasana, chair pose. Heels are high. Now start to wiggle your bum. Oh, yeah. Wiggle it. Keep your heels up. Keep your heart up. Wiggle, yeah. Inhale, 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 inhale. Wiggle, Roxy. Reach. Hands to heart center. Well done, silly goose. <laughs> All right, new friends. Here we go. Tadasana mountain pose. Hands to heart center. So you got to stay on the periphery of your feet. You got to learn to keep that arch in your foot because later, you know, as the clock keeps turning, our balance and all that shit, but all ten toes. Bring down only the pinkies. Bring down only the second one. You don't think I can tell because it sucks, but I can tell. Bring down only the third. Look at him. How do you even do that? I'm a freak. <laughs> Bring down the long one. The weird long second one. Bring down the big toe. Lift the arch of the foot. Internally rotate your thighs. Lift the pelvic floor. The shoulders come up to your ears. Rotate them back and down. Palms face forward. Lift your heart. Your belly is in. The crown of the head reaches up. The fingers reach down. Then you tuck the chin. This is Tadasana Mountain Pose. Breathe it. Breathe in our mountains today. Find the balance, the structure, the stability, the peace, the harmony in Mountain Pose. And all your standing postures will live to be a billion. Breathe. Gaze at the room and inhale the arms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back. Inhale again, halfway. Drop your left foot back. Pivot the foot 45 degrees. Keep a bend in the knee in line with the ankle. Hips and shoulders square for your the one. Look out. Drop the right hand over to your left hip. Shine your heart. Fold forward. Bring the left hand inside that right foot and open to the right. Energize. Push down with the left hand. Sweep that right foot back to meet your left foot. She starts it up. Keep the arm bound and drop your right foot off your back. Shine your heart. Rotate the upper body. Two plank. From the right hand to the mat. Yes. Come forward. Make your way to your mat. So place the left hand in front of you and reach the right arm underneath. Take the left arm over to the right. Square the hips and shoulders. Open up your heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale up and draw the hands together until they come under their appropriate shoulders. Hug the ribs. Lift, push on Cobra pose. Toes together, lift your bum. Knees wide, child's pose. Inhale through plank. Tuck the toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, out of book, Chris Lift the heels, 
Bend the knees up, step or jump. Oh, the sun. Exhale, fold. Always the option, take a gentle bend to the knees as you inhale up. Hands start center. All we needed was a Surya Namaskar. Brought that sun right back out. Here we go, inhale the arms. Uttanasana, lead with your heart. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, drop the right foot back, pivot the foot 45 degrees. Bend the left knee so it's in line. Bring the right hip forward. Weight off the quad for your Vidrasana one. Lift your heart. Breathe. Drop the left hand over to your right ass cheek. Lift your heart even higher. Look up. Open your heart. Open your mind. Chin to the chest. The hand comes inside the foot. Energize. Sweep the left foot back to meet your right. Flashy Stasana. Breathe. Steady in your plank. Drop your left foot off and shine your heart. Funky, funky now. Rotate back through your Vashi Stasana. And over to your plank. Slowly hug the ribs. Come on down. Right hand to the corner. Sneak the left hand in front. Walk your right hand to the left. Opposite arms now. Lift your heart. Exhale, fall. Open it up the backs of the shoulders. Inhale up, drag the hands under the shoulders. Hug the ribs. Big toes together. Zip your inner thighs. Tuck your junk down. Peel the chest up. Don't use all hands. Use the hyperextension muscles on the lumbar spine. Find your cobra. Bhujangasana. Slowly lift, lift. Spread the knees wide. Make your way back to last. Few seconds of breath as you remind yourself what you're thankful for. Inhale up through table, tuck them toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, out of the Heels high, bend the knees, up, step and jump. Halfway or to Utanasana, exhale bow. Inhale, rise. Thumbs together, palms together, reach. Samastiti. Pick up the toes on the right foot. Place them down, don't grip. Micro bend to the right knee, tuck your tail under. Shoulders back and down. Find a twist knee, a point of concentration. Lift the left leg. Open to the left. Place the sole on the inside edge of the right. Inhale the arms halfway. Palms face up and get you some of that sun. Let the sun hit your face. Prikshasana. Steady with your breath. Steady with your consciousness. Good. Lift the knee to the elbow. Hold. Sweep it back at a 45 degree angle, turning the palms down. Extending the right leg without hyperextending. The heel on the right foot draws a line to the arch of the left. Arms are up parallel. Start to look out of that right middle finger and reach. Keep reaching. Slowly fold, Utita Trikonasana. You're here, babies. Close your eyes now. Close your eyes. You got here physically, intellectually, audibly, visually, you're here. There's nothing else to do. Look up to your left hand and then close your eyes. This one transcends time, baby. Give it a breath. Keep squeezing drops of the sun. Keep squeezing drops of the sun. Engage your mula and inhale up. A generous bend to the right knee. Activate the back leg and inhale. This time we hover the left foot. Bring the thumb and index finger together. Gentle bends in the wrist. Bend the right knee like you're dancing, like you're floating. Now dance, Shiva. Damn, Shiva. Make cool shadows. Sweep the left foot around to the right side. Grab your left wrist. Lean to the right. Now close your eyes and smile. Oh, yeah. Come on back. Cover the foot. Dance with me again, Shiva. 
Hands to heart center of the knee through a neutral. Extend that leg and hold. Release it slowly to meet the right. Sweep the arms up. Tuck your tail now. Reach for the sky. Tuck your tail under. Reach high. Now start opening your heart to let your back bend. Start lifting your heart. Lean and reach back. Protect your lumbar spine, but open your heart. And when you get as far as you can, drop your wings, silly goose. Shine your heart to the sky. Close your eyes. Oh, today is the day. Slowly bring the chin to the chest. Hands to heart center. To have a really good day. Oh, pick up the toes on the left foot. Micro bend in the knee. Find your Dristi and inhale the right leg. Oh, steady Freddy open to the right. Stabilize. Bring it to the inside edge of the left, hopefully anywhere but the knee. Always the option to keep it down at the ankle. Arms come out to the side, receive. Lift your heart. Oh, spread your ribs. Reach to the right, left. Lift the knee to the elbow hole. This time we dangle that broken branch. Sweep it back at a 45 degree angle. Turn your palms down. Extend your left leg. The left hip is tucked, the right hip is open. So extend that front leg, baby, good. Lift your arms. Reach out of the left middle finger, keep reaching. Reach, reach, and then finally fold. Duty to Trikonasana. Your arm is vertical, perpendicular to the floor. There's no hyperextension in the back. The right hip is open. There's three triangles. One across the top of the thigh to your armpit. The other one from your fingertips to your feet. The third one from your root floor to both feet. Utita Trikonasana. Nature's geometry. Anatomical architecture at its best. Close your eyes now. Do spiritual yoga. Admire yourself for kicking an hour of your morning out to come be cool and try shit new. Engage your mula and inhale out. Spread the toes wide with a generous bend to the left knee. Look back at your right foot, say, ready now, Freddy. And then here you go, inhale, this time we hover. Nana Mudra, gentle bends in the wrist and elbow. Bend that left knee like we're corks in the ocean. Dance, Shiva. Make them dance, society. Woohoo! Sweep that right leg around, left side of your back, grab your right wrist, lean left. Open the heart, smile, close your eyes. Come on back, silly gooses. We dance. Up, out, and over. Come on back, we hover. Shadow. Hands to heart center of the knee through a neutral. Extend that leg and hold. Release it slowly to meet the left. Inhale the arm. Exhale, hinge and fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Right foot back, left foot back, down, puff. Spread your fingers wide, relax your head and neck. Lift the heels, bend the knees. Bring them on down, slap. Come to sit. First things first, since I have new friends, put your ass cheeks on your heels. And then it sounds silly, you have to engage the perineal muscles of the pelvic floor, meaning you have to lift the muscles that you use to stop you from peeing. I know that sounds ridiculous, but watch. Oh, it's quite a lift. <laughs> yes, but look, I'm practically weightless. 236 pounds of weightlessness. That lift right there protects. That there allows you to, to get your center of consciousness to be your center of gravity and things just become light. Um, now, this next one is everyone's favorite. Lean forward, tuck your toes. I didn't think I'd forget. I just thought about Lily, my daughter, and uh, I forgot this twice. And she's the only one silly enough to remind me to do this posture. You can blame her for this. Tuck all ten of your toes and sit on your heels and tell me how much you enjoy this. You got them tucked? All ten, even the little piggy. Now sit on. All right, now put your hands at heart center. Send your knees towards me and lean back. Oh, more. Oh, that's the face, sister. Lean back. Lift your heart and look up. You feel it in the bottom of your feet. 
Are your dogs barking? Lift your heart, stay here. 30 more minutes, woof, woof. Three peas. Oh, the vultures are circling over. Rotate the shoulders back and down. Lift your heart and look out. Keep your toes tucked. Tell me you love it. I love it. Now lift your ass off your heels. Oh, that's nice. Chin to the chest, come on forward. Untuck your toes. Place your hands at heart center and go, ah. Bullshit, don't trust me even for one breath. Now you lift your knees, that's enough nonsense. Lift your knees. Splay the metatarsals wide. Oh, what about the phalanges, Bonacci? Rotate the shoulders back and down. Lift the heart. Knees high, ass low. Heart high, head back. Throat open, eyes closed. Ears open, heart wide open. Yeah. Slowly bring the chin to the chest. Come on, forward. Hands to one side, legs to another. Extend your legs. All righty, silly gooses. Rock side to side, remove any flesh from your sits bones, which I have none. I'm all belly, no ass. So I have no way to remove anything. I feel like I'm just sitting on roots all the time. It's terrible. All right, slide this left leg in. Let it drop out to the side. Place it on the inside edge, plug in your right femur, flex the foot. Square your hips right over this and your shoulders. Preparation for Janu Shushasana, inhale the arms. And on the exhalation, twist to the left. Right hand outside the bend, knee lift your heart. Look down over that left shoulder. Start to twist behind your navel. Allow your ribs to take your chin, your chin to take your eye. Release slowly. And bring that left hand outside the right knee. Lift, plant the right, a gentle counter twist. Keep the shoulders square. Good. Nice. Now square up through center. Pick up this left foot, and I need you to pull it into the armpit. Not out, in. Lift your heart. Good. Lift it higher. Now place it over to the crux of the right elbow. Wrap your left arm around. Lift your heart and rock your baby. Oh, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> Lift it higher. Make sure it's parallel with the ground. Lift it higher. Lift your heart higher. Don't roll back. Rock your baby, damn it. You think they're going to bend this quick? I got like 400 kids. It takes a lot of this shit. <laughs> All right, release it. Place it in your hand. Get both hands and put your big toe right in front of your armor. Now stare at it maniacally. Now here's the deal. For my friends online, I'm going to have to put you on pause because this is where we levitate, and I'm not sure if the World Wide Web is ready for it. Now look at your toe. If you want to levitate, you must touch your toe between your eyebrows three times. Honestly, trust me on this one. Ready? Oh, did you feel it? <laughs> Good. Nicely done. Slowly keep the right hand to the foot. Bring the left arm underneath. Good. Plant that hand. Underneath, the left hand. Front. Come forward. Take that right foot over the top. Place the hands in front. And extend your legs to the side, which I'm going to fall right off my leg. Look at this thing. All right, Tasha Vakrasna, don't do it, because I just slipped off. <laughs> Come on, I can't do it, so I can't teach it right at the moment. I slid right at the back. I shaved my legs for a pageant. Things are a little bit funny. <laughs> Bring the soles of the feet together. Grab your big toes, lift your heart. <laughs> Explain that to people I don't know. <laughs> Exhale, hinge forward and fold. I'm not naturally this hairless. <laughs> but I could ask it. Inhale up, lean back, hover the heels, balance on the sacrum. Alrighty, relax. Don't answer the must have. There she goes. Alright, you two, new friends, ready? Mandatory eye contact here. If you even stop looking at me, things can get horrible. Ready? Let it rip. <laughs> well done! Ah, oh, lift your heart! Lift your heart! Release your right hand! Royal wave! <laughs> Release your right hand. Double royal wave. Keep your heels hot. Good. Now catch the beach ball, silly. Oh, catch the big beach ball. Grab your inner thighs. Rotate them back. Heels come down. The toes face back that way. Lift your heart. Hinge and fold. Upa vista konasana. And then relax. This is your edge, by the way. You feel that shit? Yeah. 
That's right. That's your edge. So what you do is you close your eyes, you hold hands with yourself, and you walk that razor's edge. And you never get the pain, but you're sure as shit uncomfortable. Yeehaw. Turn inward. Think about what you're grateful for. Turn inward. Close your eyes. Just be you and your breath. You and your consciousness. Think about people and places and things in your life that you love. Ah, yeah. Think about how much more you are than what you see in the mirror. So much more. Let your heart smile. Let your soul shine, kitty. Be grateful. Your ability to move, your ability to breathe, your ability to be in the arms of a friend, in a community of love and light, in a place, in a place that people save a year, work every day to save for a year to come here for a week. So often we take this little stretch of sand for granted. This place is, oh my God, I love my home. I've been here for 20 some odd years and I find new gems every time I leave the house. Amazing in such a finite stretch of sand. The badasses, the protector, <laughs> the guard for all of mainland North Carolina. We're the ones. <laughs> Breathe peace. Inhale up slow. Take that left femur and plug it right in. Pick up the right sole on the inside edge, let it fall out to the side. Square your hips and shoulders over that left socket. Plug it in, dorsal flexion. Inhale the arms. Oh, exhale. Twist out to the right. Lift the heart. Twist to great length. Untether the bind. Come on through center. Take the right hand outside the left knee. Lift your heart. Counter twist. Keep the shoulder square. Square the hips and shoulders. Come on forward and fold, Janusha Sasa. Did we skip a Janusha Sasa on the other side? Oh my God. We're all going to walk in circles. I'll get it. Open a side of corridors. Unimpinge. Allow that neural current to fly free. To flow without interruption. Inhale up. Grab the foot. Good. Place it in that right hand and pull the knee into the armpit. Lift your heart, square the hips and shoulders. Keep lifting. Now move it around a little, explore it. Lift it higher, go around the back, no turtle. Good, knee in, 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 squeeze. Bring it all the way across to the crux to the left elbow and lift your heart. Wrap your arms around, rock your baby. Lift your heart higher. Maybe the shin runs parallel with the floor. Maybe it don't. Lift your hips, excuse me, lift your left. Rocky Rock. Bring the foot into the hands right in front. This time it's surely to happen. The first time's rough because it's windy out. This time I'm positive we, we levitate. Stare at your foot. Oh, yes. Tap it between the eyebrows three times briskly. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Good. Place the sole down. Bring the left to meet the right. Hint forward for another body connection. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale up, slow. Extend your right leg. We'll shine your shusasa on this side. Or else my chip advisor review will go into the toilet. Here come forward now. Hinge forward, hinge forward. Shine your on the other side. Inhale halfway, change the angle of the sacrum. Empty your belly, don't come forward. Empty your belly, first look up, then bring the chin to the chest. Now inhale, send the shoulders back. Exhale, scoop out your navel, and now slowly bring the shoulders down equidistant as you fold over your leg. Inhale up, good. Bring that right foot out to the side. Stand your left. Come forward. Slide over to the right. Maybe you turn the palm and forearm up. Reach back with your left. Up and up and over. Parivrita Janusha Sasa. But this ain't it. This is. 
Open your heart. Yes. Breathe peace. Parivrita, Janusha Sasana. Open your heart, look up and under. Yes, keep looking up, good. Create space all on the side body. Mindful to keep the left hip grounded. Mindful to keep the skin between your eyebrows soft. Rotate the upper body, come through center. Slide it over to the left, turn the palms up. Reach back with the right, up and then over. Then look up under that armpit, shine your heart. Slowly come on through center. Lift the body. Keeping the legs wide and the feet flexed, I want you to rotate to the left. Now pick your ass up so you can square that leg. Square it right in front of you. Now without turning the shoulders either way that we did last time, fold. Inhale, let the hands ride the legs, bring them above. Rotate the trunk. You might have to place the hands down to pivot. And come and take your, move your sits bone. Square up over the right leg. Come on down. Slowly come on up. Pick up the knees. Scooch forward, soles of the feet. Top of the shin, base of the knee. Pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, cat flexion of the spine. Seated cat and cow, inhale, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, kitty. Pull it through, look up, look up. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, the heels hover. Squeeze them into the chest. Extend the legs, Navasana bone. Lift your heart, look up, sun on your face. Flex the feet. Slowly bring the upper body down. Keep the feet where they are. Then relax the heels to the ground. Palms face up, just wiggle. Good. Take any contraction out of the body. Slide the heels into the sit bones. Drop your arms to T. Pick up your ass and scooch it over to the left a beat. Then drop your knees to the right and your gaze to the left. For a recline twist. Oh, sorry. Instagrammers, you might fade out in 58 minutes. Chill. We'll have you right back online. Inhale through center. Soles down. Lift the bump. Scoot your ass over to the right and kick. Drop your knees to the left and your gaze to the right. Recline, twist. Chin out of every part of the middle of the body. Be soft. Allow your breath to guide the right knee where it goes. Allow all the space by the intercostals, the rib cage. Come soft. Good. Then inhale those knees back through center. Soles down, square the hips, align the spine with the long edge of your mat. Walk your heels in close to the sits bones, hip distance apart, parallel. Turn your hands down outside the hip. Tuck your tailbone first and slowly engage your quads. As you lift each vertebra one at a time, elevating the hips at the Bandha Sharman Gun. Bend your backs, babies. Reset your pubic symphysis. Reset the pelvis. Take your right index finger and poke yourself in the butt cheek. If it's hard, take contraction out of your butt. Super hard. Take contraction, soften your ass, and make your quads do the work. Really hard. And then when you want to come down, no. When you want to come down, stay an extra breath. Now when you feel complete now, articulate one vertebra at a time. One vertebra at a time. Making your way slowly back into the arms of a friend. When your sacrum touches down, your 
Matt comes up and hugs you. It's hard to avoid. When that happens, give yourself a knees to chest squeeze. Make three circles to the left, three circles to the right. Big, big circles with your knees. Allow your heels to come close to the mat. Massaging the low sacrum. Yes, giving that lumbar love. When you've done them in both directions, extend your legs towards the sky. Grab the base of the hamstring behind the knee. Roll along your spine, playfully two or three times at least, and come to sit. We'll talk about our next back bend. All righty. Okay, silly gooses. Next back bend we're gonna do is, Jenny, can you throw me a buck? Is, uh, we can do, we have options with our back bends. We're gonna do three of them. Thank you, ma'am. So this block here, if you have one, if you don't, you could use a pillow blanket if you roll it up smartly. If this is just if you want to restore it, you can place it this way, this way, or this way, under the sacrum, the fused part of the spine. It's not a moving vertebra, it's fused, it's right here. It looks a little like this. And if you don't have one of these, you can just, whatever, I don't even know, whatever, don't go out now and order something, I don't know. Place that underneath, well said, Scott, well said. Extend your legs, palms face up. And you stay here for, I don't know, like a year. This restores. So what happens is the lobes of the pelvis are set up like Mickey Mouse ears and there's a cartilage base fused at the front. Well, we have asymmetry because we live life. And every once in a while, you just got to reset this area. So when we take out the block, the body takes symmetry back to itself and we put ourselves a little more in alignment. Our other option is, thank you, ma'am. That was perfect. Now, you can do one from your knees. Tuck toes or not, this is Ustrasana. Tucking the toes makes the back bend a little less deep. It depends on how open you are. You straddle the Achilles heel with the thumb. You rotate the shoulders back and down. You must have real estate here. You can't open your heart. You cannot bend your back if you do not open your heart. But you must tuck the tail. Everything must come towards the center line and under to protect the lumbar spine. Ustrasana Kemp. And then for those of you who'd like to practice an energetic back bend of a little more. Heels in, hands under the scapula. Bring them in, maybe you splay your toes out an inch or two. Fingertips face the old chicken bone. You tuck the tail first, you energize through. Engage the quads. And then you lift. So go ahead. Do a back bend of your choice for a minimum of eight breaths if you're doing wheel. Longer if you're in camel, why not? Relax your head, neck, shoulders, and face. Send the lobes of your pelvis towards me, Jenny Lee Crouton. Take contraction out of your ass, McCohen. Yes, yeah, send the hips towards me, baby. Lift your heart. Beautiful. Everybody rocking it. Yes, little mama, go. I'm going. You're on a hill, that's why. Good job. <laughs> that was delightful. Can you go back from standing? Like, what do you mean? Standing up and then go back to wheel. Oh, maybe. Don't, don't, don't. I'll do it with you. <laughs> On a hill, you're going to roll right past. Now, <laughs> I'll show you after we can. All right, good. Nicely done. Use. It's really wasted on you young ones. <laughs> That's a consensus. Alrighty, relax, babies. So you bent your back. If you'd like to do another back bend, please feel free. Um, when you get home, if you have a block or a steady bolster blanket or a pillow, they can make do that restorative one just for shits. You're not too young to have restorative back bends. Um, there's just things that you go along. So now our body's becoming very, very tight. And if you watch, there's no way in hell you can turn on the news and hear all this COVID bullshit without your blood pressure going up, your, your sympathetic nervous system going into, you know, fight or flight, your shoulders come up higher, you become rigid, you know? and maybe just the, a few moments of laying down with your heart open and your back bent is just enough to get you back, you know? So do your thing. The last thing we're gonna do, well not the last thing, but a few things we're gonna do is practice inversion. So the reason we do that is our lymphatic system has no natural problem. And our, our lymph system, excuse me, and our lymphatic fluid wants to pull in our ankles. So we're gonna get upside down. Crouton, you feeling it? Sure. No, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Because I got a friend that might want to jump. Lily, come on up and give Jenny a break today. I'll do All right. It. Yeah. <laughs> Don't save her ass. Get her out. <laughs> come on, you want to go? <laughs> Just please. <laughs> All right, come up, Krita. 
I was saving you, by the way. So inversions are, we have options. Dead bug first, stand here first, because when you come right here and face me. This is for the cameras, this is very important. Now, in India, there's a lot of crime in the streets. This is how we learn dead bug. <laughs> We've been working on that for weeks, sorry. That's it. <laughs> the corniest shit makes me laugh. <laughs> Lift your bum for an elevated hip raise. Good, hips higher than the heart, lymphatic flows go to the right direction, you just become limp. This is a wonderful restorative inversion. And when you're at your house, every once in a while, just do this with your feet up the wall. Oh, it's delightful. All right, mom, hi. If you want to practice shoulder stand, Salambo Sharmakasana, left. This is the forgotten inversion. Walk the hands down the spine, squeeze the elbows together, energize the inner ankle bone. Up. Do not look to the side to see what she's doing or she's doing now, or he's doing. You have to keep your twist to the tip of your nose, your third eye, or towards your toes. And when you come out, do the appropriate counter pose, Matsyasana, or fish. You're doing good, Crofton. You are doing it. Jenny's on a little sleep, a very little sleep. <laughs> All right. Then the option, do we have another option? It's going to be shoulder, or headstand, excuse me, Kirsasana. And this is the real test. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All righty. You measure first and foremost, if you want to get on your head, you measure your arms no further than the distance of your elbows. You unfurl and you create that V. You place the crown of the head in it, which is there, in this basket in front, and you leave them outside. Now, if you put it on the front of your head, oh, it hurts. If you put it on the back of the head, it hurts. <coughs> we shouldn't have a ton of cervical compression. At this point, we're just putting a healthy amount of pressure on the top of the head to bring an oxygenated blood flow to the brain. At the same time, we're radiating through the forearms and protecting our neck. <coughs> Excuse me. Sure, sasana. Round the head down. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Walk them in. Keep your twist to tip your nose. Control your breath. <coughs> Excuse me. And inhale, sure, sasana. Well done, you beast. Do it, baby. Keep breathing, Mama Sita. Yeah. <laughs> well done, croutons. <coughs> Excuse me. Come out real slow when you're ready. You guys will stay longer. Jenny is uh, needs to get on the camera. <laughs> then do child's pose as a counter pose. Good. Wonderful job, kid. Wonderful job. All righty. Do your thing. You want to try it? All right. Good job. All right. Go, but as yes. Elbows closer together, Justin. It's blowing. All right, I'm not supposed to adjust here because they're supposed to be socially distant. Yeah, but that's tripod, so I didn't show you that, though. So arms back, but you did good. All right, keep coming, baby. Bring your heel to your bottom. I don't think I can do this. Yeah, you can. Watch. Just put your head back down. Watch. And I got you. You ain't going nowhere. Now tuck your toes. Lift your knees. Now push. Now bring. keep walking your toes in more and more and more. Give me one of your legs, baby. Oh, come on up, silly goose. Look at you. I'm a, a badass. Tuck your tail under. I'm going to touch you for a second. Ready? Good, go. Okay, good. Come out when you're ready. Look at you. Nice. Well done. Easy. Don't lift your hands when you're down there, silly. Good. Child's pose. Just like up here. Yes, well. Good job. All right. You, we're going to do that next time with this way, though, so that way you can. Good job, though. That was awesome. Good, good, good. Nicely done, silly goose. All righty. Take the appropriate counter pose. Good. Enjoy that counter pose. And come sit up. All righty. Now, if you got a blanket or anything you might have, that you could elevate your hips with a little bit. We're gonna breathe for a minute. So elevate your hips if you can. If you can't, just sit cross-legged and comfortable. If you got a sweatshirt, blanket, or anything you want to wrap around you now, do it. Good, we're gonna breathe for a few seconds. Alrighty, kids. Alright. Pranayama. For those of my new friends. 
Um, we haven't met before or haven't practiced before together. There's an eight-limb path in yoga. It's called the Ashtanga eight-limb path of yoga. And um, the first two limbs, rungs, are in your climb are the yamas and niyamas. These are the observances and constraints that keep you from being a jerk. They're like the Ten Commandments. You know, you just don't do silly shit. You don't, you're nonviolent. You don't steal. You're clean. You're honest. You know, austerity, satya, truthfulness, all these things, ahimsa. You've already done those. I don't have to teach you those. You've got it. And you came here for the third rung, which is your asana practice, and that's this. We're not doing yoga right now. We just do the asana practice. Now, this prepares our body still enough to sit comfortably to do pranayama. Now we're going to be, after this, at the 50-yard line, ready to get into the funky funky now. And as your practice deepens more and more and more, the, la the bottom four are amazing, but you do them just for the top four. And that's where we turn inward, dhyana, dharana, and samadhi, you know? This is where we go inward, we turn inward, we learn to meditate, we focus our attention, we bring ourselves to a center space. We create non-duality, a oneness. A oneness so we can learn of ourselves till we have awareness. When we have awareness of ourselves, it's blissful. And when we're blissful, we go around with kindness in our heart, with the very best versions we could be, and everybody else benefits from you just being you. You know what I mean? It's just amazing, and it's such a gift to have to the people you love. The ability to be present for the ones you love. The ability to be kind always and answer spiritually instead of environmentally. And it's not going to happen. We're human. But it happens more and more and more and more and often you do it. And if you practice this practice, I don't mean to constantly proselytize because I'm not trying to sell yoga to anyone. Yoga doesn't need to be sold for sure. It needs to be practiced though because um, if you do this more and more and over and over and over again, everything just seems to be okay. And uh, that's a crazy explanation, but it's true. So put your hands on your knees. We practice Vinaloma NLR, Nadhi Sadanha, alternate nasal breathing. Inhale the right hand. Bend the first two fingers, close your right nostril. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale left. Close it with your ring finger and hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close and hold. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close and hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close and hold. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close and hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close and hold. Exhale left. Drop your hands to your knees, sit up nice and tall. Keep your gaze soft, your eyes closed. Return to natural circles of breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale. 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 Sip, sip, sip. Hold. contraction out of every single fiber, muscle, bone, tendon, liquid in your body. I need you to be 
become completely soft without any structural integrity at all. Releasing all contraction in the body, period. Shavasana, babies. This is the counter pose to the whole during practice. You gotta fall into the arms of a friend. You gotta relax. Good. When your body is soft, release your breath. Let it come in and out under its own volition. As shallow as it needs to sustain. When your body's soft and your breath is soft, you need to relax your head, neck, shoulders, and face. Soften the skin at the corners of your eyes, the edges of your mouth. You need to look at the inside of your eyelids and smooth out the space between your brows. You need to relax the low jaw and let the tongue just flop. You need to fall into the arms of a friend. Now, babies, breathe in peace. Exhale, fear. Breathe in peace. Exhale, judgment. Breathe in peace. Revisit your intention. Breathe in peace. And appreciate how much more you are than what you see. Appreciate how much more you are than what shows up in the mirror. So next time you walk by, look yourself in the eye instead of what you're wearing. Breathe in love, and have faith in love. Breathe in love, let it warm your heart. Think about people in your life you love. And enjoy your journey. My friend's gonna take you out for a ride.
can kiss God. Come to my house late at night. Do not be shy. My fees will be barefoot and dancing. I will be in such a grand and generous mood. Come to my door at any hour, even if your eyes are frightened by my light. My heart and arms are always open and need no rest. They will always welcome you. Come in, my dear, from that harsh world that has rained elements of stone upon your tender face. Every soul should receive a toast from us for bravery. Bring all your bottles of wine you own to this divine table, the earth we share. If your cellar is empty, the whole universe could drink forever for mine. Let's dine tonight with exquisite music. I might even hire angels to play just for you. Look, hidden beneath your feet is a luminous stage where we are meant to rehearse our eternal dance. And what is the price of my divine instruction? What can I ask of you? All I could ever want is that you have the priceless company of someone who could kiss God. That you have the priceless gift of becoming a servant to the friend. Come to my window, dear world, do I ever be shy? Look inside my playful verse for Hafiz is barefoot and dancing. But in such a grand and generous, in such a fantastic mood. Very slowly, friend. All I ask is that you take a conscious breath. Just give yourself a nudge of spiritual awareness. Then ever so slowly and mindfully and thoughtfully take tiny movements to your fingers and toes. Just wiggle your fingers and toes. Wiggle your nose. whenever you're ready. Yoga Chitta Vrita Narodaha. Patanjali hit it right on the head. Yoga is the cessations of the fluctuations of a busy mind. So now more than ever, babies, our mind is fidgety and outwardly responsive. We have to be careful, we have to be cautious, we have to be, we have to take precautionary measures to keep ourselves healthy. And then sometimes that's just a lot. So we did the physical practice of asana to prepare the body for this moment, stillness, so your mind can be still and you can turn within. When you turn within, you pump right into yourself, it's unavoidable. And you have self-awareness, a glimpse of self-awareness. And every time you're aware of what you are and who you are, the God, Guru, and Self all in your own package, you're the very best version you can be. So, when you are ready and not a breath before, come sit up. gets you there once, then I'll try to get you back again. It's not for me, it's for you. So here's the deal. We got together this morning, virtually online, and, and a handful of us together safely. And then what happens as a byproduct of becoming more flexible and becoming more strong and, and becoming more balanced is we figured out a way, or we didn't figure out a way, it just happens. We didn't manifest this like, but we harvested the light that we created together. And there's a light in your heart now. And it doesn't, it was always there, we just had to poke it. And what happens is, yoga has just now begun. You didn't do yoga, you did yoga, but now it starts. So you gotta go take that mat, you gotta roll it up, and then you gotta do your deal. And people around us need us for this light. So you have to go find a room that's dark, and you have to brighten it. And that's what your job is, that's just your dharma, that's your karma, that's your action. 
and you take this light and you share it. And the benefits of this practice don't have to be just for us. We only do this shit so we can serve others anyway. So then you go find somebody that needs a cool word, a kind word, a truthful word, and you give them three. You give them four. You just sit there. If someone wants to talk to you, you put your phone down and you listen. You become completely present and you listen. If your dog needs to, an extra scratch, you don't say, ah, scratch it. If you need to just be with yourself, be present for yourself, good. But this is the deal. We're not supposed to hug, but the ones that you're, you're quarantined with, if you want to hug, hang on to it for an extra squeeze. And this practice, and I'm telling you, especially because of my new friends, is it, you, know, you know everything. It's all it's going to do is reteach all the shit you already know. But it isn't your back bend, it isn't your headstand, it isn't how flexible your shoulders are, your hamstring. It's all about love. this kindness just begets more kindness and all this love just begets more love and I don't have to tell you this shit but put it into practice it doesn't have to be for an hour and 15 minutes at 10 o'clock on a Sunday it has to be all day all the time and you just go to yoga and all day all the time yoga just began go share this shit with everybody you know man and they need it and when you can be safely around people you know share your life and just be kind and, and, and just let love take the reins for a few minutes Throw rational thought there, just away for a few breaths sometimes and trust your heart to know it. Just listen to yourself, be nice to yourself, embrace your community, be present for the ones you love, be present for the ones you love, be present for the ones you love over and over again. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I love hanging out with y'all. I love being with you online. I love being every part of this. And uh, I, I couldn't do a single day, and I say it all the time, and I'm going to say it to you guys now because I don't even know you and, and that kind of jazz, but uh, it's uh, you're on the top three things I'm grateful for, and I just met you. My kids, my family is number one. This practice is just getting me to two. And then the things I'm most grateful for are you. Are you? And that's it. And uh, I could do, couldn't do a day without you, so I'm not going to, you know. I'm just going to, and I'm going to go home, and I'm going to learn something tonight and share it with you again tomorrow. And we'll just keep getting kinder and nicer and healthier and happier. And, and this will soon shall pass like everything else. And then uh, it better. We got to we gotta find a place to do this before it gets cold. <laughs> so that's it, man. So go be nice all day, damn it. The light in me thinks the light in you is beautiful. Don't take for granted your breath today. At some point during today, somehow listen. Listen, listen. And before you say something silly or maybe not just perfectly nice, take two breaths and see if what you say has to change. And that's it. That's it. I love you so very much. I'm not going to wait for your eulogy to tell you, man. I love you all so very, very much. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. The light in me thinks the light in you is absolutely golden. Namaste. Kids, this is the beautiful grounds of one of my dearest friends who I love very much. I won't mention her name, but I can't stop telling you I love you. This is the Bohemian Song Society. Oh, my good God, I love them so much. They make me so happy to listen to. And that's it. Uh, we'll be meeting right here again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, be cool. Be nice all day. Do your thing. Oh. <laughs> Namaste, babies. But you can't stay here. So get out. Get your junkie. Get out right now. <laughs>